Hey, listen, today we're making a coffee facial scrub here on Bean Basics. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics with Bob and Michelle. Welcome to Sunny Saga Tuck, and welcome to the Obus Lab. Hey, listen, today we're making a coffee facial scrub. Well, actually, it's a facial scrub. It can be a body scrub. It can be a foot scrub. It can be an elbow scrub. It kind of works everywhere. You know, coffee is really, really powerful to drink, but actually when you rub it on your skin, there's some really big benefits to it. You know, when you rub coffee on your skin, it can reduce inflammation. It improves blood circulation. It can make your skin radiant. It does exfoliate the skins, of course, and it can reduce puffiness. And that's just a win-win for everybody, you know? Plus, it smells good. It smells super fine, right? Now, you might look at this young complexion of a 58-year-old man and say, <laughs> does he really need to use a coffee scrub? <laughs> and the answer is yes, you know? And I think that in old terminology, it makes me a metrosexual, which is okay by me, but I use this on a regular basis, and I got to tell you, it's a win. Now, the thing about it is, is we can use everything that's in your kitchen cabinet to make this, and it's so easy to do, you can just do it like that. And all you need to do it is you need some kind of uh, mixing bowl. You need a one tablespoon and a one teaspoon measurer something to stir it all up with and you need a container to put it in and I actually like Tupperware you know some people put it in a mason jar and that kind of thing but this goes in the shower a lot better than a mason jar if you think about it and frankly what I've learned is not to even bother with the mixing bowl that I can just make everything right in here and I'll show you how right now so the main ingredients are coffee and brown sugar. And then, yes, we're going to put some cinnamon in, and we're going to put some cocoa in, and we're going to use olive oil. Again, I think you can find almost everything in your kitchen cabinet. So if you want to stop the video and get these items, please do. But we're going to move through right now. So the portions or the proportions are really easy. We're going to start with the coffee. You know, somehow in our videos, coffee seems to be the, the, the center star, but uh, <laughs> it's not an accident. It's not an accident whatsoever. And uh, we're going to get some coffee out of the airscape. So this is really fresh. Coffee smells good. And we're not going to weigh. We are going to go with volumetric controls today because I want to just show you how easy it is. And basically, we're going to go with a quarter cup of coffee and we're going to go with a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now, to keep in mind, four tablespoons equals one quarter cup. So we're just gonna use a tablespoon to measure all of this, right? So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Really good. Seal my coffee back up, get all the air out of there, put this back. We're gonna spritz the coffee. And there's a reason to do that. And uh, we'll put all those reasons right up here, but basically reduces static in the grinder. I want to grind this something a little less than medium, but not very fine. Okay, maybe that's confusing, uh, but it doesn't need to be too coarse. And you don't need to use fresh ground coffee. You could use pre-ground coffee. That would be fine. The only thing you can't use is you can't use instant coffee. All right, so we're going to start our grinder up. Get that going. I'm going to turn it off because if you know me, we don't spend time listening to grinders <laughs> on this show. All right. We're going to get the container that we're going to take up to the shower. We're going to just mix it all right in there. So there's our quarter cup or four tablespoons of coffee. And I don't know if you can get sort of a, a sight line on, on the, the fineness of that, but that's the approximation. And we're going to do some brown sugar. By the way, I always wrap my brown sugar in a rubber band in hopes that it doesn't turn hard. But if you get to your brown sugar and you find it's hard, you can just put it in the microwave a little bit. So now again, one, two, three, 
two, three, four. Or a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix that up and I could stir it with my spatula, but I'm just going to give it a quick shake like this. And before we know it, it's all mixed up or nearly mixed up, nearly mixed up for our next ingredients. So we're going to put some cinnamon in and you know, cinnamon has some very interesting qualities to it. One, it's antibacterial, pretty interesting. It's antifungal and it's high in antioxidants. So we're just gonna put one teaspoon of that in there. Seems like a good thing for us to take next time we go uh, farm direct in the jungle, yeah, right? Yeah, a little, little antifungal never hurts anybody. Yeah, right? that's right. Yep. Now cocoa itself will actually uh, clear and detoxify your skin. Can you believe that? Oops, that was messy. One more reason for me to love chocolate. And if you got a little extra in there by mistake, I think that'd be okay. Boy, I destroyed that spoon right there. And I gotta give my hands a little one of those. All right, so we're gonna blend that in also. And we're gonna blend it in by just shaking, 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 shaking. Okay, we're almost in the final stretch here. Now it has almost a sandy color to it. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm gonna just have you give that a little bit of a whiff. It smells really good. I can, I can smell the cinnamon uh, pretty strongly, uh, but For sure. you can definitely smell the coffee. For sure. Okay, so olive oil. Now, the olive oil is, um, it's a little tricky to, to know the right amount. So I would say between two and three tablespoons. And I say it's tricky because it depends on what kind of coffee you use and what kind of grind it was you know, what kind of brown sugar you used and that kind of thing. So we're gonna start off by simply putting in two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna take a little visual check on it in the end. Oh boy, there we go. And the thing to know about olive oil, of course, it's a moisturizer, right? It's an antioxidant, right? And it's full of vitamins. It's got vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin A, and vitamin A helps you with acne. Right. Vitamin E moisturizes, right? Vitamin A also helps you with wrinkles. And wrinkles too. Or they, as they say, wrinkles and fine lines, <laughs> right? Okay. How are we doing here? If I can get it open. It's perfect. So let me just scrape down the edges and give it one last stir. But you can see that really took no time at all, like you could actually be warming up your shower while you're mixing this, right? Down in the kitchen, go up to the bathroom, start the shower, get it nice and steamy, and then come down to the kitchen, throw this together, and frankly, you could just throw all the ingredients in at once and just give it a big shake. I've got some brown sugar clumps in here I gotta break up. Kind of looks like the consistency of a cookie crumb crust for a pie. Totally. This, this, I think we're going to just add a little more oil. Remember I said it was between two and three. So let me, let me go with, is there such a thing as a half a tablespoon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what is that? Two teaspoons? Uh, no. <laughs> Tablespoons, 15 milliliters. A teaspoons, five. Oh, so it's boy. complicated. It is very complicated. I'm so impressed you know that. Thank right? you very much. <laughs> So you want this the consistency, I think, of wet sand? Is that what we're shooting for? Yeah, wet yeah. sand. Yeah. Would you say pie crust? Like a cookie, a cookie, cookie crumble? crust? Yeah, yeah. I think that'll work. Of course, it's all a personal taste. Yeah, now it's perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see that. Yeah. It almost looks like uh, our coffee, uh, coffee grind compost pile. It does. It does. And by the way, you can't use use coffee grounds either. It doesn't work because you 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 know we, we dissolve so much of it uh, when uh, when uh, when we brew it. Right? There's just not a lot of those nutrients, not a lot of those uh, antioxidants left after we've brewed it. Right. Okay. So I'm going to uh, do another batch. This was the simple one. Everything out of your kitchen. Right. That's what we talked about. But there are some other uh, things that we could add to this. So if you wanted to get fancy or just a little bit more serious about it, 
uh, I've already put in the coffee, I've put in the brown sugar, I've put in the cinnamon, I've put in the cocoa. But here's some other things that you could put in. Well, you could go to the grocery store or the pharmacy and get some vitamin E uh, tablets. And, boy, I had a pair of scissors here, but I just don't know what I did with them. What does vitamin E do for you? Well, vitamin E is, again, an antioxidant, so I'm just going to squeeze that in. There we go. That's one. I'm glad it didn't explode, explode on me. And two, but it's not supposed to go in it. <laughs> just on it. And there's number two. Um, but, it, I mean, it literally will restore your skin. It helps protect from UV and, and that kind of thing, too. Now, the other thing, I'm going to have you take a look at that because it's such a small bottle. Mm -hmm. This is green coffee extract. And you could almost, instead of using vitamin E, just use a little green coffee extract and put that in. And that would be really wonderful, really powerful for does your skin. Does green coffee extract have uh, caffeine in it as well? And It does have caffeine, but remember, when you rub that caffeine on your skin, I think you know what that does to yeah. it, right? Yeah, reduces puffiness. It reduces puffiness because it, it, it constricts the capillaries or mm -hmm. whatever. Now, I've got something else here. And this is a coffee extract, okay? And, and really, uh, this is more like an essential oil. Excuse me, my mother's calling right now. We'll have to put that away for a moment. And we're going to just put a couple of drops in there, and we just want it to smell more coffee-ish. Now, you could use a different essential oil, right? You could use lavender, you could use vanilla, you could use whatever aromatherapy that you like that you think would complement coffee, you could put that in there and it would be great. Now, instead of using olive oil, you could use almond oil. And, and almond oil is really, really beneficial. It, it literally will reduce puffiness on your skin. And it does all the other things that coffee does, right? The, the whole idea of reducing sun damage, uh, high in antioxidants and so on and so forth. The other uh, unbelievable sort of magical oil is the ho jojoba. jojoba oil. And that comes from a jojoba shrub, right? <laughs> it actually grows in the desert, right? And it comes from their seeds and you squeeze those seeds down, right? And it, it is actually not even an oil. It's more like a, a wax ester. And that wax ester mimics the sebum. Sebum is produced in your body naturally. It puts moisture into your skin. This is like the closest thing to that natural moisturizer. So it's like skin in a bottle. It's like skin in a bottle. Absolutely. So let me get a couple of uh, tablespoons of this in here. Except I didn't take the, the cap off. So how many times do we think we should listen to those beeps? Well, this is what happens when we forget to go radio silent. But hey, <laughs> you know, it's a almost live uh, uh, YouTube show. So here we go. Totally. All right. And then we would just mix this by shaking it just like the other one. And then we do a double check in the end just to make sure that it's like moist sand, which yeah, it is. it is. Right? Perfect. But... This one, it smells like coffee even more powerfully. Can I smell it? You can smell it for sure. Oh yeah, it really does. Super fine, right? So does this work? That's the question. Let me sort of clear off this area a little bit if I can. Oop. And we're gonna unfold, unfold, so that I can get this facial rub right on my face. Let's do it, baby. Right? And then I'll hop in the shower, I'll come back, and you guys can be the judge of whether it works or not. So, I don't know, can you get a good shot of my face right here, right now? <laughs> yeah, you look very handsome. All right. And, you know, the thing is just to dig in, and you would want to pre-wet your face. I don't have any water right here, but you're just going to take it and rub it on your skin, just like this. And it's easiest to start on your cheeks, and then kind of move up over your forehead. You might have to grab a little bit more. And keep this in mind. You might want to do this in front of your sink it, it or maybe like, in the shower. Looks like you have a uh, really bad five o'clock shadow. <laughs> Does it really? But the more you rub it in there, the more you'll exfoliate. Yeah. You know, so if you're 
worried about those fine lines right here, giving that a little rub. If you're worried about a little puffiness right here, you give that a little bit of rub. I think it's important though to be careful not to get it in your eyes. Oh, you can't get it in your eyes. And that's by the way, I like sugar rubs better than salt rubs because somehow I always seem to get something in my eye, mm -hmm. you know? Not coffee grounds, but when I have the salt rub, it always seems like I got something in. All right, do you think that's well enough applied? I would get right underneath your nose, oh. and I think then you're good. Does that have like the mustache look yeah. then? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What do you think? <laughs> I think you look marvelous. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to go hop in the shower, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back from the showers. And let me tell you, it felt great rubbing that around in the shower and just letting the water dissolve all the sugar off and all the oils and then the coffee falling down. And now I think my skin looks much more radiant, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And I'll tell you, I had a <laughs> chance to touch his cheek before we came back on air and it's really soft and smooth, which is, you know, saying a lot for a guy who shaves every day. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, hey, this coffee scrub, whether you use the method that's out of your kitchen cabinet or you add a bunch of special kinds of oils or essences or vitamin E's, either one is good, either one is great. It's all about exfoliation and rejuvenation, and that's exactly what happens. I do this about every other day, but that's about all the time we have for. Hopefully you like this episode. Maybe you have a comment about it, like... Why was the phone ringing? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, hopefully you'll uh, subscribe. Uh, but the thing we want to leave you with, of course, is the thing that we always leave with you. And that is, when you love the world, the world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two Gs.